and now is observe how long it takes to do your routines and tasks. Okay, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? How long does it take you to get to work? How long does it take to get your kids ready? How long does it take to get to school, right? Okay, and so sometimes we underestimate how long things really take. And so we're kind of scrambling or we run out of time. But I know that it takes me 30 minutes every single day to clean my kitchen. Why did I, how do I know that? Because I time myself for a few days in a row. And then cooking. There are some dishes where it takes me 40 minutes, all the cutting and all that stuff. It takes 40 minutes to cook, clean, get everything back into the fridge or whatever I need to do, wash the dishes. And then there's some that takes 20, that takes 20 minutes. So on average, after um, taking notes of like, okay, if I cook this, it takes me this long. If I cook spaghetti, maybe it only takes me 25 minutes. And what it comes down to is 30 minutes. And so what I want to encourage you to do is to start taking note of how long it takes you to do these daily tasks. Everybody listen to this. This is like the main thing I want to share with you today. There are 24 hours per day, right? Everyone has the same number of hours, seven days per week. That equals 168 hours. And if you've ever watched um, Dave Ramsey or listened to him, right? He talks about name that dollar. He goes by a zero-based budget. He wants you to say, this dollar will go to this. This dollar will go to that, okay? And so what I had noticed was that I actually do that with my time. I've been doing this since I was in college. I have named my hour. And it's just become a little bit of a routine for me. Then you have to designate the hour. It's a zero-based schedule. Every hour has a designated job to do. Okay, doesn't that make sense? If you wake up, let's say 6 a.m., 6 to 7 a.m., you're not cooking dinner. Well, most of us may not be cooking dinner. Uh, maybe you're doing laundry. Maybe Mondays at 6 to 7, you're doing laundry. Well, you name that hour. It's your hour. It's your house. It's your home. It's your family. It's your lifestyle. But for me, you know, six to seven, I name that hour. That's when I like slowly wake up. When I'm up, I, I'm up. Okay. Then I do my whole routine and then I get to work. Please don't be overwhelmed by this slide, but I really want to show you this. Okay. These are my hours every day. These are like always every day. Sleep, sleep, eight hours. Okay. Let's, I admit sometimes it's five, sometimes it's six, sometimes it's 10. Very occasionally, I wish it was more. But on average, I sleep eight hours, okay? My work is about eight and a half hours a day. And I actually work six hours, uh, six days a week. I get ready. It takes me about 30 minutes. Now, this with the lashes and the foundation and like I actually blow dried my hair, that's 45 minutes. I wish it was 30. I've tried to get it down to 30. Just like cleaning the kitchen, I can't get it down to 30. But anyway, 30 minutes to get ready on a regular basis. Cleaning the kitchen takes about 30 minutes. Okay, so on a regular week, Okay, see right here in the blue, the teal, 56 hours of sleep, 51 hours of work. Okay, some of you, you don't work for 51 hours. You work 40 hours. Maybe you work part-time, whatever. It doesn't matter. You have to name your hour. If those are the hours you work, then put it in. Okay, four and a half hours a week to get ready. So I added here nine because Sunday mornings for church, I do try to get look a little bit better. And then another day of the week, if I'm going out with my husband for a date or we're having family day, whatever, there's a little bit more time there. All right. Clean the kitchen. Three and a half hours. So that is a total of 117.5 hours out of the 168 hours. OK, then on a regular week, because it's not every day, every day I'm not doing errands every day. I'm not spending time with family or friends or doing church stuff or traveling somewhere. But in general, in a whole week. These are the hours I put in errands, three hours of family, whether that's my family, that's my immediate family, dates with my husband, that's kind of in there, friends, um, whether it's like a dinner with as, as uh, like a small dinner date or whatever, or just hanging out with a friend for coffee, church, travel time to get to places. So that's a subtotal of 141.5 hours. And remember, we have 168. So I still have 26.5 hours remaining or divide that by seven days. That's about three hours and 70, uh, 375 hours per day. That's 
three hours, 45 minutes. Okay. So that means I have three hours and 45 minutes, three and a half hours, four hours, whatever you want to say. Okay. To do something for myself, my family, my spouse, my kids, family member, you name it, friend, my home, work, fun, relax, self-care, my community. Okay. Because all these other things, sleep, work, get ready, cook, clean kitchen. Okay. Those, those can't be skipped. Those have to be done. And then um, these things, you know, they're kind of, you know, just like with a budget, they're variables. Some weeks, you know, I might be spending five hours doing errands. So then I would have less time, let's say, for friends. 